for the longest time. I've cared so much about this idea of passing. The idea that when I walk down the street presenting as female, the people around me have to, I have to register as female. And if I don't, that's the end of the world. I think that's bullshit now. And I, I really don't, I don't really don't care about passing these days. Like, I feel like if someone looks at me and they, and they see a man and that's a problem for them, then it's, it's their problem. It's not my problem. But for the longest time, if I knew I wasn't passing, it was really the end of the world. I've had a couple of pretty miserable experiences trying to pass and failing. I'll tell you about one of them. So the setting is that it was six weeks after I moved here to Copenhagen. And it's the middle of the summer, and I was very early in my transition. I had not presented as female at all since I had moved here. I was still getting used to life and everything, but I was feeling like I wasn't expressing myself. And the time had come for me to, you know, put on my bra and go out on the streets and see what happened. I, I didn't have very many clothes, and I, I knew that I wanted to go shopping, so I, I got all dressed up and obsessed over myself and my presentation and worried about if I was going to pass or not. And then I, I walked out the door and I got on the bus and I was heading to the shopping center. Now, it was the middle of summer. I was wearing winter clothes because that was really all I had. And all the girls around me were wearing flat you know, sandals and shorts and tank tops and sunglasses and their hair is just like thrown up into a loose ponytail. And I'm walking around with like, you know, really overdone hair and like makeup all over and, um, you know, big heavy winter coat and long, long turtleneck and like just I totally stuck out. I didn't fit in at all. I didn't look like all the other girls walking around and everyone was staring at me, you know. I, I looked different from than everyone else, and everyone was looking, and it was really starting to bother me after a little while, because I felt like everyone was staring, and not just, like, looking and then looking away, like, staring and not looking away until, you know, I was physically out of their sight or something. So, even though it was really getting to me already, very quickly, I, I got on the bus, and I just said to myself, you're gonna get through this, it's not that bad, who cares, and we'll just do it. Um, but I got, I got off the bus, you know, in the shopping area, um, at an air, at a, at a station called Neuroport, which is, which is right by a walking shopping street, and I got out onto the middle of the sidewalk, and there were just people everywhere, and I had, like, a little mini panic attack, and I said, I can't handle this. You know, people are going to be staring at me and thinking to themselves, what's with that dude in women's clothes? And I'm going to feel like shit and I just need to go. So I got back on the same route going the way I came. I got back on the bus to go home right after I got there. I, I almost made it to the shopping center, you know, but I didn't quite... So I got on the bus, but because it was at the station, the bus was already, like, full of people who were leaving the downtown shopping area and were going home, so there was no seats left left on the bus. Every single seat was filled, and I had to stand in the back of the bus, and there was no one else standing. So, basically, I, I had kind of worked myself up to, into this frenzy over not passing, and feeling really self-conscious already. And I'm sure that the energy I gave out was very self-conscious and very much nervous, and that people were probably picking up on that. And people were probably picking up on that more than they were picking up that maybe I don't compl didn't, or I still don't completely look like a woman, I think, but at the time, I looked even less like a woman. You know, had more facial hair and you know, stubble that was unshaven or hard to shave, and um, I'm sure that, that that didn't give me away as much as my attitude. 
But I, I gave up. I chickened out. I got on the bus. I was going home. And like the next stop, this group of little girls gets on the bus. There was like six or seven of them. And they were all between like eight and 12 years old. And children are notorious for making trans people uncomfortable because they'll say stuff that adults won't say because they have no social inhibitions. And that's a problem. If you're just trying to fit in and pass and have no attention drawn to yourself, little children are, are I mean, your worst enemy. So I, I'm, I see these girls get on, I'm like, great, here we go. And so they're standing next to me. I'm standing in the back of the bus. And just, I mean, we start going again and I can see their cell phone cameras out taking photos of me and I can hear all the snickering coming from the group and I'm going, oh God, just let this be over. I just want to go home and crawl into a cave. But then one of them came up to me and she said, what's your name? And I said, my name's Samantha. And she said, are you a boy or a girl? And uh, I said, I was pretty smart about it. I said, what do you think? And she said, well, I think you're a girl. But like, you know, you could tell that she was only saying that because she knew she was supposed to. And I said, yeah, that's right. I am a girl. And then she, like right after that, she says, well, actually, no, I think you're a boy. And I must have blacked out. These girls were laughing and I was just, oh, God, leave me alone. And and I said, I basically she, she was insisting that I was a boy. And I finally said to her, look, I answered your question. I'm not going to keep answering this question. I'm not a boy. I'm a woman. You're totally rude. Goodbye. And at the next bus stop, I just walked off the bus. It wasn't my stop. I was only like one quarter of the way home. But I got off anyway because I couldn't handle it. And as the bus was driving away, I just looked up. I gave them a big smile and just waved until they were gone. And... Then I pretty much sat there and and had a nervous breakdown right on the street. I was thinking, how dare they? How dare they do that to me? And it's not my fault that, I, that I'm doing this. It's not my fault that I was born this way. I, I wish that I, I hadn't been. I didn't choose this. This is just me. And I'm doing it because I have to. Not because I, not because I want to. I mean, obviously, I do want to transition and... I do care about transitioning, but, you know, if I'd been born a woman, I think that I'd have a lot of my issues resolved. So, you know, I'm walking down the street and I'm going, just feeling complete, like, crap for over the whole situation. And finally I said to myself, well, you know, if that was the worst that can happen, and I survived it, you know, that's not so bad. I... What would I do differently next time? You know, I should have had the power in that situation. And I thought about what could I have done differently to, you know, take back that power. And it was probably my attitude. Like, probably if I hadn't been so self-conscious about passing at all in the first place, they never would have said anything. Because now I dress the way I want to. I present myself the way I want to. And I choose to present female, but maybe not everyone pre perceives me as female. But if they don't, I don't give a shit. Because I'm being myself. And if they can't handle it, that's their problem. So, I guess that's the bulk of my thoughts on passing. What are your thoughts on passing? Is it important? Has its importance changed over your transition? Let me know in the comments. And also, please give me some suggestions for what I should talk about next time. I have some ideas, but I'm curious to know what's on your minds, and we can get a discussion going. And, you know, I'm looking forward to chatting with you again. So, until then, take care.